Mexico has seen record dry conditions this summer. As the harvest begins for the state's hallmark chili crop, growers say there's a mix of challenges. New 13's Maryland Upchurch has more on how the harvest is going so far. It looks good, the plant's good, and if the rain kicks in, the monsoons will be in really good shape. That's all we lack now, some rain. Just weeks away from picking the first chilies off his plants, Big Jim Farms owner Jimmy Wagner is optimistic amid what's been another tough season. It's been really challenging with the heat. It's been hard on the plants. It seems like we can't get them enough water on them. The New Mexico Chili Association's Travis Day agrees, saying the impacts are being felt statewide with some harvests happening earlier. It pushed the season up, but it also um, gave it, you know, gave the chili a little more heat level to it and a little more stress. Um, so we lost a little bit due to the heat, but nothing, you know, in significant numbers. But a positive to the heat is there's a lot of flavor in the chili and a lot of heat. Southern New Mexico harvest started in mid-July and other areas are expecting to start in the next few weeks. While there's been a drought, farmers say higher water levels in the Rio Grande in the earlier part of the season helped a lot. So far, we're seeing really good numbers um, when it comes to the 2023 yield. Um, I think we're going to project, you know, about staying the same to about a 4% increase. Um, right now, the kind of outstanding factor is the moisture and, and the monsoon season that's upcoming. The state's chili crops are also seeing major changes with mechanized harvest after years of labor shortages. Last week, we had our first load of New Mexico chili being picked by a machine. Regular chili can't survive machinery and must be hand-picked. That's where the New Mex Odyssey plant comes in, a chili that was developed to survive machinery. We've seen great success with it. Um, we have the harvester actually working um, this year for us. And so it's an exciting time to be you know, involved in New Mexico chili, and, and it's going to continue to grow as we move into the future. Marilyn Upchurch, CARE News 13. Before the harvest hits, chili farmers are still waiting to see what the monsoon season does. In recent years, they've dealt with too much water, leading to problems with disease on the plants.